Welcome back viewers. It's time to get this hydroponic garden started again. Observe and learn. Greensmachines.com If you have not watched the previous video explaining how we got here, I'll link it in the description below. With my landlord's landscaping complete, say that 10 times fast, I had been given his blessing to get this garden off the ground. Of course, the first thing to do was to reassemble it and clean it up. The garden had been gathering a lot of dust from being mothballed on the side of the patio. Dirt was the least of my worries, though. One of the main design concessions I had to make was preventing the growth channels from leaking. To accomplish this, I used some food-grade safe silicon sealant at the end caps and downspouts to prevent water from leaking. When I first tested this system after I built it, this thing leaked a lot of water. And that would eventually run the reservoir and pump dry, which would not only damage the pump, but kill the plants too if left unattended. My hydro testing of the system was pretty thorough, and the good news was that all the silicon sealant held up. No leaks. Hooking up the nutrient solution lines to the pump outlet is maybe my least favorite part of assembling this. It isn't too difficult to do. Now to test the pump. It works, but now I have to run an extension cord across the backyard. I'm placing the garden here at the edge of the backyard patio. It will get the most sun here. Great for the plants. You've seen my video about how I get my seeds started, but next video I'll go over my methods to ensure roots are completely covered by nutrient solution, before and after entering the system. So be sure to subscribe to the Greens Machines YouTube channel for more updates on this garden. 
Follow the Greens and Machines Instagram account for more frequent updates at Greens and Machines. We'll see you in the next video.